So this is very amusing to me. Ruby Rose just posted a picture of her mother during Thanksgiving, and people just noticed that her mother got them. Oh my God! And it's like, oh, 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 oh your mother kind of like holding, holding. Okay, what's going on? And people are arguing like her mother got a BBF. So I had to kind of just like reel people in. One of the um the blogs that I um follow is the Shade Burrow. So the Shade Burrow is more so like it's like a more British influenced blog. So um they have a little bit of a different cultural understanding i, I don't want to get into wars here today guys we're not doing that but they're more familiar let's just put it like that with like the east african aesthetic so one thing i i said i said one thing i said okay is that like ruby rose's mother does not have a bbl and if she does like you know, I, actually I, I would put money on her mother really not having a bbl um but if she does like i don't know she might be like first generation or something like that like i'm first generation i don't have a bbl but i'm just saying like is just something that like would have come from like I don't, I don't i don't think her mother has a video so a lot of y'all don't really realize or don't know like for instance like i am east african okay i'm east african um both of my parents are east african and um whenever somebody's attracted to me um i always joke like yo if you like me like <laughs> I, it's a dime a dozen it's a million of us out there out here in the east that look exactly like this like i'm literally like i look east african to the core um americans um are not used to the east african aesthetics so a lot of the times people always think i'm like caribbean or they might think i'm from the south or whatever like they just they just never like clock that i'm an east african girl and i've mentioned this this before the people that always clock i'm east african and it's so random and this has nothing to do with them me looking like them they just clock it um is the yemeni people yemeni people and yet people from yemen yemen and oman always know i'm east african they always just know they can just see it like oh girl you east african and it's like listen i'm tanzanian there's not tanzanians in new york trust me trust me when i say this if you meet a tanzanian in new york and i talk to them they know my parents or like they my cousin something like that. it's a very small community it's very small so like we have some sort of commonality we got cousins in common we got you know my mom and my daddy like things like that it's, it's a very small community but more to the point let's just stick to the point so many of us east africans have this whole like snatched waist wide hip big booty aesthetic like it just is what it is it's just a genetic thing like you're not trying it just is what it is so like in the bbl era it's very interesting even when people are like i start talking about like we're not doing bbls no more you know we, we go off for the slim slim thick whatever or like you know going for like a more natural aesthetic for us, it's like, well, shoot. At first, it was like, welcome to the club. I guess now y'all don't want to be in no more. You know what I'm saying? But we all have that look. Everybody's got the big body, Ben's body. Like, if that's just how East Africans are. So if you like that, this is the comment I left on the shade barrow. I said, her mom is East African. Listen, go to Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Rwanda, ETC. We're all shaped like this. Even the dudes. I mentioned elsewhere that the top tier jeans though come from South Africa. Cause those girls that have 50 inch hips with a 25 inch waist without trying. Like, yo, folks, I am not a hater. If you've ever seen a South African girl, and you guys see it online, but have you ever seen, like physically seen a South African girl? Them girls waist be like nada, like nothing at all. And their hips be out to here and the be mm mm, okay? All the way out there. Natural, natural girls, okay? So shout out to all my East African girls. Shout out to all of y'all. Shout out to all my South African girls as well. We just don't have the visibility in the United States. Like, I find that um, in the United States, when people think of East Africa, they think of the horn mainly. But also, like, you'll have Somalis in, um, in Minnesota and in D.C. area. You got, like, the Ethiopians as trans. And even in L.A. But, like, the rest of us, like, you don't run into, like, a whole bunch of Tanzanians, like I said. So... Tanzanians, Kenyans, Ugandans, things like that, but it's all giving big body bends or the long shell. So her mother has, that's her real, mm -mm, okay, that's real.